this was me in January in Arizona. You cannot have paid me enough to think that 2020 would be anything other than travels. That is all I wanted to do before I got Chandler was travel. I was in denial for the longest time, but I did get all my money back for all my flights. Okay, okay. I honestly wanted to stay in my pity party far longer than I did. I didn't have anything else to do or go, and I would have if I was an apathetic narcissist. I, Taylor, could not give two more fucks about COVID after I was specifically, scientifically, told what to do to flatten the curve. Besides gaining the COVID-19, it was seven, but still. I had a single problem staying at home and wearing the right mask that didn't make me feel like I was being kidnapped. I finished writing one novel and then started writing on another novel. I put a huge dent in my reading goal and I purged my apartment. Marie Kondo would be very proud. Did I go insane sometimes? Yes! But come on, COVID affects different people in a million different ways and I don't want it. And in my unpopular opinion, since I was doing my part not to contract or spread COVID, it was the least of my worries. I have been plagued by the senseless violence that continued to happen all year. I know I don't have everyone, but Ahmaud Aubrey, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, freaking Andre Hill, three days before Christmas. Really? Really, dude? This narrative is so effing old. Like, seriously, grow the fuck up, get over yourself, and be better. I have the nerve to believe that y'all can be better. In a disturbing, disgusting, hopeful, and beautiful way, I'm thankful for 2020. Besides all the things I accomplished to live better and be better, I learned a lot about myself, my thoughts, and my voice. And I learned a lot about the company I keep who decided to reach out to show that they care about me, people like me, and how we are treated. I cannot believe that we have to have these conversations in 2020, but it meant everything to be heard and considered especially when there are a million other things people are dealing with to survive this year. How are we three months away from March 2021 when March 2020 is when all hell broke loose? Taylor 2021 is a Taylor I don't even know yet. Taylor 2020 getting ready for 2021 wants to do like maybe three things. I want to learn to do the splits. I want to get into kickboxing and I want to complete two puzzles. But I have the greatest all-consuming feeling that future Taylor has a master plan all her own. Taylor 2021 is like, sis, you think all you're gonna do is achieve the splits? Um, no, I got this. Okay, she got this. Where she leads, I will follow. All right, kids, see you next year. Spread love, care, and empathy. It is contagious, and I don't wanna have this conversation again.